Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today we have a small topic in uh, biostatistics and epidemiology that is by modality. It is a technical term used to express the distribution of people or distribution of data within a population. Okay, so let's take an example of dental caries. So dental caries, we know dental caries is most commonly seen in two age groups. That is in teenage, we can take 10 to 20 years and very old age group, they are uh, more prone to root caries. So 50 plus age group, okay, dental caries. Whereas, let's take hypertension. Hypertension is not seen like this. It is most commonly seen 40 plus age groups. Okay. And let's take another example. Early childhood caries. Which is commonly seen in less than 5 years. Okay. So if we represent this into a graph this will be like this if this is the age 0 to 80 and we are putting hypertension this is towards the right side okay this graph is towards the right side because most of the this is not hypertension this is age okay this is age 0 to 80 and this is hypertension hypertension so towards the end and that is the right side most of the cases are there this is known as positively skewed and this is if you take this one this will be like this if you take this 0 to 80 so, 0 to 5 years most of the early childhood caries are there. So, this is known as negatively skewed. And we have learned long back, what was this called? This is normal curve. This is equally distributed. Equally distributed on the left and right side and most data will be at the center. Okay. So, if it is deviated to right side it is known as positively skewed and if it is towards the left side it is known as negatively skewed now let's come back to the dental caries so how it will come it will be like 0 to 80 one peak will come here that is 10 to 20 years then it will be a flat curve then again it will be a peak okay so it is reported highest incidence in 10 to 20 years and 50 years so it has by model expression because it is expressed in two modes this is expressed in one mode but it is negatively skewed this is expressed in one mode this is positively skewed skewness and normal curve it is not directly related to bimodal expression. I have just said how the data is represented in two peaks. That peculiar representation of the data, it is known as bimodal expression or bimodality. And we also uh, have many diseases in this format, uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma, Hodgkin's lymphoma or uh, seen in this format. It has two peaks and also we know leukemia leukemia also attack two age group that is very young age group and very old age group so that is bimodal expression or bimodality when the disease or when the uh, peculiar variable is uh, occurring in a group of people at two age groups at two particular interval that is the uh, in so bimodality is nothing but when a variable or a disease or anything like uh, dental caries, Hodgkin's lymphoma, leukemia 
when it is expressed in two peaks this is known as bimodality and also we may have conditions that is trimodality or multimodality this is all known as unimodal distribution we have one mode it is seeing only at one peak so it's a simple concept only thing you need to write about uh, the bimodal distribution by quoting dental caries or leukemia or Hodgkin's lymphoma example and you can also mention about the normal curve and skewed uh, graphs that is positively skewed and negatively skewed graphs so this was asked once in uh, public health industry question paper as a short note so you can write about uh, bimodality uh, which is used to express the data uh, peaks in a population okay so i'll come up with a new topic in the industry more thank you